In my last video, I talked about how you can create an agent based on your own personality. So now we wanna dive into actually how to do that live. So there are a couple of ways that you can kind of think of creating your character or your personality. You could obviously go in and just write a bunch of things about yourself, but it would be much nicer if we could just have some dynamic way to pull information or pull data about yourself. Thankfully, again, going back to this character file uh, repo, we looked at this before. This is um, a repo that we used before to kind of pull down an example character that they had and also look at the schema and the details of how a character would be described. They also have a couple of really great tools that allow you to create a character based on your personality by using data. But this doesn't obviously have to be about yourself. It could be about anything, which is pretty nice. But the two, actually there are three main functions that you can look at. One of them is called tweets to character. This takes a Twitter archive and turns it into a character.json file that you can just plug directly into your agent. There's also a folder to knowledge uh, function that can basically take videos, PDFs, text, markdown, images about a subject and turn that into a knowledge.json file, which you can then use right here um, using knowledge to character to then add that to your character file. So you can either use this uh, library to take your Twitter archive and turn it into a character file or take arbitrary files and turn them into a character. So this is the tool that we're gonna be using and I'm gonna be using my Twitter archive because it's pretty simple. I can just take one um, piece of information which is that uh, archive and then run this script over it and then we can plug that into an agent and we're gonna do all of that from scratch. So we're gonna be using the AI16Z Eliza framework like we did in the last video and I will go ahead and jump right in. So here I am in a uh, folder called X where I have this archive.zip and I got this archive.zip by going to Twitter here and you can go into your settings and you can go to download an archive of your data and you have to actually request this and depending on a few things, I'm sure maybe how long you've been using Twitter, it will uh, be sent to you later on. Now I've already done this and I've downloaded that archive and I have it here, it's called archive.zip and here are some old characters that I've created from it. But here in this video, we wanna create a, a new version of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here to this character file repo and I'm gonna go down to scripts and I want to run this npx tweets to character script. And then I am going to reference uh, the folder that I want to use to turn into the character file. So I can go ahead and run npx tweets to character and then I can just point to archive.zip and then boom, this is gonna start running a script and it will ask me a couple of uh, questions. I will say no about the previous session. I will select Claude as the model. And then it asks for any additional uh, user information that you can add. So though I haven't really experimented all that much with this. I just put in my name and that was about it. I wonder though if you could ask it to prune certain information that you don't want in here. So for instance, for me, I prune some old information manually about things that I don't really do or I'm not interested in anymore. But I'm just gonna skip this for now. And now this is just gonna run. This takes some time to run. So this could take anywhere between 30 minutes, an hour, just depends how much data you have in your archive. Uh, once you're done, you're gonna then have this character file that you can then use. So I have that character file and it's just a JSON file. So I can actually go into the old characters and I can see that um, I have this uh, character file character.json, and here just has a bunch of um, information about myself. So I'm gonna um, use this character file in just a moment in a new project. So in the new project, I have this blank folder called Soundcraft, and this is gonna be my agent of my myself. It's gonna be kind of my alter ego. And uh, to build this, we're just gonna go ahead and start a new agent from scratch using Eliza. So we're gonna go to the Eliza repo. We're gonna go down to the Eliza repo and just copy this to clone it. And I'll go ahead and clone it into this repo here. While that's cloning, I'm gonna go ahead and check out the latest version. And if you're watching this at a later time, 
and you have any issues or any errors, maybe you can just check out the exact version that I'm about to be checking out. I believe it's like point, let's see what it is actually. It's one zero point, I'm sorry, it's 0 0.1.6. Okay, so that's the one we're on. We now have checked out that version. I'm gonna run pnpm install. All right, installation is done. Next, we'll run pnpm build. Okay, so we've checked out the, the right version. We've installed everything, we've built the project. So now we can open this up in our text editor. And what I'm going to do, I'll zoom in a little bit here. And what we wanna do is we're gonna to go to characters here and we want to add our new character. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the character and just copy and paste the code there. So I'll create a character called natter.character.json and I'll go ahead and just paste my character there. As you can see, it's massive. There's 14,000 lines here. So I'm just gonna to scroll to the top because there are a couple of modifications that we need to make. So if we look at one of these other characters, you'll see that we have this clients, model provider, and plugins that we don't have here, and we need those. So I'm just gonna remove the voice because we're not doing that. For the model provider, I'm gonna be using Anthropic, so that's good, and for clients, I'm just gonna be doing Twitter. And then plugins, we'll leave that blank. And that's kind of it. Now we can point to this character when we run our script. The last thing we need to do is set up our environment variables. So I'm going to create a new file called .env. And I'm gonna copy this .env.example, paste it here. The only thing we really need to fill in are, for me, since I'm using Anthropic, I'm gonna look for Anthropic API key and I'm gonna set that. And then I'm also going to find Twitter and I'm going to set the username, password, and email. So I'm gonna do that off screen and then I will be right back. Okay, so I've set my environment variables and now we can test this out. And I'm gonna go ahead and open my agent here. This is the agent that we're um, going to be working with. It's Soundcraft, or this is the Twitter profile, I guess, of the agent. And as you can see, I have tweeted once uh, 44 minutes ago when I was testing this out. And what we're gonna do is run this and hopefully everything will work and it will tweet something that I might say. So to run this, we're gonna go here to our terminal and we're going to run pn pm start. And then we're gonna put the dash dash character and this is going to equal the path to our character. So let me go ahead and open that up. And our character is located in characters slash natter.character.json. So I'll say characters slash natter.character.json. And I will go ahead and run this, see what happens. So it looks like it logged into Twitter successfully. And it looks like it tweeted, so we wanna go back to our profile and we'll see we have a notification that there was like a login alert. And then I'm gonna re refresh and boom. It looks like less than a minute ago, I tweeted out, imagine a world where anyone can own a piece of the things they love from iconic works of art to cutting edge technologies. The future of ownership is about to be transformed. Yeah, I guess that sounds like something I might've said um, at some point in my life, <laughs> but um, for anyway, uh, this is definitely loaded with my personality. Now, what you might do to make this better would be to do dynamic prompting. And I'm gonna create a video about doing really cool dynamic prompting to kind of take this to the next level. And that's gonna be the next video I make. So keep an eye out for that. But for now, thank you for checking this out. If you liked it, comment, um, follow me on YouTube, all that stuff. Thanks.